Or you want to go ahead and bite that? I'll risk a bite from you. There you go. This is our like lava pit. Oh, God! All right, let's go. Oh, which direction is it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. Look at how good they get around. Ah! <laughs> Look at who it is. It's like a turtle grab bag, man. You don't know what you're going to get. What's going on, people? How are you? Uh, we got a video here today for you. And today, it's going to be nice to go into a nice murky pond rather than uh, a vat filled with human sewage. Uh, but anyway, what am I doing today? Well, we're going to go into the back pond, which I keep saying is the gator pond, but there's no gators in it yet. Uh, it will be a gator pond one day. But in the meantime, or currently, it is occupied by a few different turtles. We've got three Batagura finis, which are the Royal River Terrapin, very endangered species from Southeast Africa. <laughs> Did I say Africa? I didn't mean Africa. I got Africa on the brain. What I meant was Asia. Anyway, we've got them and we've got the, um, uh, oh, before I go any further and tell you about the two Fly River turtles that are in there and the Mata Mata, um, I'm a little loopy and I'll tell you why. I just donated blood. Doink. See, donated blood today, so I'm feeling a little lightheaded. So if I do pass out or say anything ridiculous, blame it on that, all right? Uh, but anyway, I'm in here because I want to feed them, I want to check on them, which we've done in the past. But guess what, people? We've got a little interloper in the pond. We've got somebody in this pond that doesn't belong in this pond. Say hello to Redfoots. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so uh, they get a little bit, they, they suffer from like um, feelings of, uh, neglect if I don't say hello to him. But anyway, um, I've got a turtle in this pond that does not belong in this pond. And uh, I think he got out of the main pond, which is just beyond those telephone poles, uh, by a low section of fence, which I'm gonna fix, and uh, which is in that corner. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but anyway, I gotta get this turtle out because uh, you know what? I don't want him in there uh, or her. We don't know if it's a male or female, but I'll show you. Um, let's see if I can find it. I brought some food to kind of throw out into the pond and get these guys up from the bottom. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing here right now. Uh, and uh, that's what we're gonna, it, it could be a big shot in the dark. Oh, by the way, did I mention the Mata Mata's in here as well? Uh, I don't know if we'll see him this video because as you can see, there's quite a lot more water in this pond than there has been in the past few months. And that's because it had been raining a bunch. So what I wanna do is just throw some pellets out and we'll see if we can get these turtles up. Um, I do expect I'm gonna have to get a little bit wet because turtles don't just wanna be caught. They have to be caught. And you cannot catch a turtle like a turtle, meaning you can't be slow. You gotta be quick, fast. You gotta have lightning like reflexes. Um, did I mention I'm feeling a little bit loopy today? Well, uh, yeah, so um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up another camera. Uh, and uh, this camera is coming with me in the water. This camera is going to stay on land because it's got the good microphone. Uh, we're going to get going. So a couple things about this. Uh, we got some papyrus I've planted strategically throughout the uh, pond, hopefully. This will take off and get really big. I'm gonna work on some bridges, not just these little four by fours, but I'm gonna make bridges here really soon, which is gonna be cool. Since I'm gonna be in the water, I'm gonna pull that one out, that beam, because it doesn't reach. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a bridge here, a bridge there. We're gonna have a bridge on that side so you can get to this island. It'll be a nice little walkway. Uh, the water is never clear uh, because, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of turtles in it. So uh, it gets stirred up often. But I do love this pond, I'm really psyched on it because it has allowed me uh, another waterway. And what's cool about being here in Florida, uh, in my area, is that all I need to do is dig down a few feet and I wind up going to the water table and the water comes out. And then of course, as it rains, water collects in here. So I pretty much have water in here all year, except for the driest part of the dry season. It gets really, really low. And as you can see right there, there's water being uh, poured into it as well. So when it gets low, I just overflow it. But let me show you something else, because we're going to let these turtles do their thing. Uh, we'll get them up first, and then I'll get to work trying to get them. But you can see this is what me and the kids, this is our like lava pit. Oh, God, I almost fell. No, just kidding. I am dizzy, though. Let's go over to the big pond. 
the main pond and we might as well feed some of these guys while we're at it. Um, I gotta tell you a little story. So when I moved here in 2004, I came in December of 2003 looking at houses. I found this one and was like, I had to have it. What do you guys think? What feature of the house do you think made me want to buy it? I'll give you a big hint. The pond. It was the pond. Uh, the pond was the whole reason I bought this house. It's so funny. I was single at the time, so a lot of gals out there might think I was crazy that I bought a house purely because it had a pond. Uh, but those of you who know, I love turtles. I wanted a big pond. Turns out the house isn't so bad either. Uh, and it's become much better since Kate has moved in because she's got a really fun eye and she's been helping me and helping us as a family kind of make the house more livable. I used to just have a couch, a television, and a um, refrigerator. Now look at this little lady, little Florida red belly. She is so friendly. We've seen her before. You want to go ahead and bite that? I'll risk a bite from you. Go ahead, bite it. I don't know if uh, some of you guys know this, but sliders, painted turtles, many different species of water turtle, they cannot swallow on land. They have to go in the water to swallow. Uh, so she might bite this. I don't know what her deal is. She's, I don't know what you're looking for. I know you like this stuff. Uh, so I don't know if she, maybe she doesn't quite see it or she just wants to be on camera. I have no idea, but she's a, a lot of fun, this little turtle. There you go. Now, what she'll do is she's gonna go back into the water to swallow it properly. But she's looking around for other ones and she would have grabbed up another one so she didn't have to waste so much time with just one pellet. If you go in, hon, go on in. Yeah, that's a little, that's a sketchy, uh, that's pretty sketchy. You're gonna go that route? See that? She's got a brain. She's got a reptilian brain that works very well. Right here in this head. We love you. She wants to take the nice, easy route, which is uh, smart, good for you. Now watch this. She's gonna go in and she's gonna swallow it. See that? Pretty cool. Oh look, there's the African mud turtle. That is the, the castanet, no, that's uh, sinuatus. Oh, we missed it. Uh, so yeah, man, that's what's going on right now. Let's throw some more food out. I don't want to throw it all out in case I need some for the other pond, but I just wanted to kind of feed everybody here. There's a lot of fish in here as well, but this pond, I love it. There used to be a bridge, but the first hurricanes in 2004 when I moved here were Francis and Jean. They knocked down the bridge and did quite a number on uh, a lot of my foliage here. But through the years, a few more hurricanes, things grow back, thankfully. All right, let's go. All right, I'm starting to see. I think there's activity. There's the, oh yeah, there's turtles. There's a turtle. And I think that's the turtle we're looking for right there. There it is. So that turtle right there, that is the Phrynops Hillary or Hillary's side neck turtle. That's the one we got to get out of here. Now, the good news about that turtle is it's not that shy. So I think it should come up uh, more often, but I guess the only thing left for me to do, there it is, there it is. You guys can't see it with this GoPro, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna make this happen, people. Let's, uh, let's go catch a turtle, shall we? All right, oh, don't need the hat. Okay, where is the turtle? Oh. Let's throw some more food out there. I might have to do a flying leap. Will I get this crazy turtle out of here? Now I know a net would probably be easier, but that'd be kind of a boring video. I may have to resort to it though. All right, let's just get, let's, Let's do what I came here to do, people. Whoa, whoa, that first step is a doozer. Much deeper than I remember the last time. Oh, at least the water feels good. All right, so let's get down to a turtle eye view of the water. Let's just hope, now that a snapping turtle's made their way into this pond, it's totally possible. Strangely, it's kind of fun. I mean, I am a man that doesn't mind wading into human excrement. So this is like 
This might as well be uh, mineral springs or something. <sighs> Turtle poop water is good for your immune system, people. Always best if I just track backwards. Some deep spots right here that they like to hide in. They like to hide up under these roots. Well, the cool thing about doing this, folks, is regardless of what the first catch I get, it's going to be cool because I get to kind of inspect the other inhabitants as I find them. So if I get a hands-on a fly river or a badiger turtle, um, I'll be able to tell how they're doing. That's a log, which is good for me and good for the turtles. If there's any issues, uh, they will be brought to light. I think everybody's over there. So that's where we're gonna go. Oh, that's a rock. That's not a turtle. Let's go ahead and since I'm in, I can remove this nonsense right here. Get rid of this. Oh. All right, cool. So now we got rid of that eyesore. A little ant bite as well. All right, back in. I'll tell you what, not a lot of, this is what turtles love to hide under. They love that mud. And I've said it before in many other videos, but I'll go ahead and say it again for those of you who might just be joining us here on the channel. Um, these turtles, these Batagur finis that I got, they're large uh, riverine and brackish water turtles, believe it or not. Um, and I got them from three different zoological institutions, the Bronx Zoo, San Diego Zoo, and the Dallas Fort Worth Zoo. And the reason that they came here to me is they were all being kept in Fort Worth Zoo and they were all getting a skin situation, some kind of skin ailment. It wasn't fungus, it, it wasn't bacterial. They didn't know, to be perfectly honest, what was causing this. So they sent them here to me because one thing seems to always work. Uh, rather than keeping the animals indoors in a very almost super super clean water environment um, one of the things we've noticed and I talked to a good friend Clyde Peeling about this who runs Reptiland up in um, up in where is he? He's up in Pennsylvania out in um, central Pennsylvania in Allenwood, Pennsylvania I believe Anyway, Clyde had a situation, a similar situation with a common snapping turtle and he was getting skin problems and so what he did was he threw some mud in the enclosure with it. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. I got something. I got something. And he threw mud in. Oh, I got something, guys. Hold on. And by throwing the mud in, what he did, aha! This is what we're talking about. What he did was he cured the situation. Um, turtles, and all animals really, um, they love microclimates, okay? Oh, careful, careful. So these microclimates or microhabitats, microbiomes, um, can be found within the larger macro environment. So by burrowing down into the mud, it acts as kind of like a spa for their skin. Women love to go to spas and sometimes they get the mud treatment, uh, but anyway, these turtles, since they've been here, have had no issues at all. Look at the beautiful eyes. This is a male Batagor finis, Royal River Terrapin. These guys are being eaten uh, in mass or have been almost wiped out because of their uh, large size and tasty flesh. Um, beautiful animal. And the good news is, is that in their site, in their um, countries or uh, geographic distribution. Uh, there's been a lot of conservation work. Uh, the Turtle Survival Alliance has done a great job with these turtles. And um, in fact, they have been producing offspring now 
for a few years. So that's good. And they've been doing releasings and tagging and making sure the animals are okay. Now the males get a nice colorful, um, they get really colorful during breeding season. Uh, these guys are related to the Badiger borneensis, which are in my front pond. Those little guys, they'll grow up to be big like this, but this is a male. This is about as big as males get. Uh, if we get lucky and I get hands on the female, you'll see just how big she is. So, okay, we got a turtle, but it's not, it's not exactly the turtle I was looking for, but it's a turtle and uh, he feels nice and heavy, well fed. Let's get him back in there. See you later. I'll just keep trolling through here to see if we get, oh, hands on another interesting creature. So let's see. As you can imagine, there's a lot to cover here. And it was funny, I just bumped into that guy. So they definitely, maybe they're over here right now because the sun is being blocked by the, um, the sun's being blocked by these cypress tree and ficus tree. So that's cool. This does seem to work nice though. Maybe if I can stand up. Nope, I can't see anyone here. But there are these um, depressions in the, uh, in the bottom of the pond. And that's definitely where these guys are hanging out, hiding. They're kind of scuttle butting around here. I bet you guys didn't think you were gonna watch a video of a man wallowing around in mud today, did you? But then again, you never can tell what we're gonna do here on the channel. I just love getting up close and personal with the animals I keep. So that first turtle, very good. I'm happy about his weight, like I said. Skin looked good. So that's nice. Now I have been seeing some nesting of the female this winter. Uh, and in fact, I did, uh, she never laid for me, but she wound up laying in the water. So what I have to do is get beach sand because these guys lay their eggs, the Euphinus or Royal River Terrapins lay their eggs on the sink. I got, I think I got a fly river, everyone. Hold on, hold on people. It's hard to do this with one hand, as you can imagine. So let's do it. Oh, which direction is it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Where are you? Don't bite me, kid. Oh God, oh yeah, let's move over here. Oh, we got a fly river. Let's see how they're doing. They've been back in here for a few months. I had them out in the, um, I actually had them uh, in the rec pond. So here he is, this is our big boy. He's good, come here, you're going the wrong way, come here. So this is our big boy, he looks good. I love it. Not bad wrestling a fly river out with one hand. Hey guy, I'm sorry, I just wanted to show you off, okay? I'm just checking everyone. So don't be upset at me. And why don't you uh, walk back in? All right, so uh, we got the fly river turtle. These guys are from Austra Australia, Northern Australia in the Northern Territory. Uh, and they're also from, uh, I believe it's the Fly River, Papua New Guinea. So there's two names, Pig Nose Turtle, because they got that cute little nose, and Fly River Turtle, because they're also found in that Fly River. Uh, so really cool species, love them. Uh, again, these animals were given to me by the San Diego Zoo, because quickly what happened was in 2001, there was a big confiscation of these animals, but they were all small. So many zoos across the United States took some of these animals. Well, a few years later, they start to realize most of them were male. And what happened was they started fighting and they get large. You can see they get pretty big. Uh, so space was an issue. And since they couldn't be kept together, space became even more of an issue. And unfortunately they had to find homes for them. Well, again, Turtle Survival Alliance uh, stepped in and members of the TSA like myself who had large enough homes and ponds and such, um, were able to get these animals uh, into a better situation. But you're going the wrong, you're going the wrong way. They get around pretty good on land, it turns out. The other way, my friend, the other way, come on. Let me just help you, my friend, come on. Come on, walk, 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 walk. Look at how good they get around. Isn't that awesome? Right in, okay, very cool. Very good, so two different species already and both looking great. Sometimes as long as you provide the animals with the right habitat and husbandry, you don't have to do much. Just kind of hang out and let them do their thing. Being down here in South Florida is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's darn close. Um, sometimes we get cold snaps, but luckily they don't last long. And so the water temps don't drop as fast as the air. And usually those cold snaps are only a few nights or a night at the most. Um, only in 2010 did we have an incredibly, thought I felt something, an incredible cold snap that lasted two weeks. And that's when 
you see a lot of animals that are non-native start to kick the butt bucket. It's only the strongest ones that survive those cold snaps. All right. I guess I could go try that area, huh? What do you think? Maybe we should. I might. What is that? What is that? Oh, wait a second. I got something interesting. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Yeah, I think I, f I think we got the dope one. We got something interesting to see. Oh, my God. Right down deep in this mud. I hope. I hope. Ah! <laughs> Look at who it is. Oh, we found him again. And he gets bigger and bigger every single time. So many fish in here. Do you guys know what you're looking at? It is the Mata Mata from the Amazon River Basin and the Orinoco River as well. Uh, this is an incredible creature. And they just found out there's two separate species of them. Uh, there's one, of course, found in the Orinoco. The other is from the, Arizona, uh, the Amazon Basin. And a uh, really, really cool turtle. Very strange, probably the most bizarre turtle uh, on the planet. And this guy right here um, was buried way deep in the mud. I only felt those keels on the back of his shell. Very similar shell to an alligator snapper. They have uh, these keels on them and it's really, really good stuff, right? So they just kind of burrow into the mud look like the mud now it's easy to do here in this pond because it's so cloudy but they have incredible senses of smell they also have those little tiny barbs on their chin that help them feel around as well then they've got all these appendages that look like leaves and they hunt in a they're an ambush predator like a gator snapper okay but they don't lure fish in uh fish just get used to their appearance and think they're the bottom of the uh, pond or oxbow or little stream wherever they may be living and what they do is they open up their mouths so fast and furiously they create a low pressure and they're like a vacuum and they just quickly pull in any fish that might be swimming by so they are really an effective predator i've got to tell you this guy's heavy it's a male you can see the cloaca which is the opening of the the vent there uh it's towards the tip of the tail it's a large thick tail so this is a male uh, looks like he's shedding a little bit. Very cool. But again, I'm just giving him a look over. And again, this animal's extremely happy. Look at that. He's so happy, he's smiling. Don't you love it? That is so cool. I didn't think we'd see this turtle because this is a very cryptic and secretive animal. Um, but I got lucky. I stepped on him <laughs> and I felt his really cool shell. So I think he's wanting to get back in that mud. But what I like to do with my turtles is I like to release them kind of where they can take their own breath. So let's do that real quick. Let's get him kind of up here. And we'll put him right there so he can rest and then he'll just run right into the water. So very, very cool that we found this turtle. Um, I love it. I hope you guys are having fun right now. It's like a turtle grab bag, man. You don't know what you're gonna get. All right, awesome. Let's keep going. We still gotta get that that Phrynops Hillari out. Now that turtle's fast. That turtle's gonna be swimming around a lot. So awesome, we've seen three different species. Um, and I was telling you about the Royal River Terrapin. There's a turtle over there, we're gonna go that way. Uh, the Royal River Terrapin lays its eggs on the same beaches as sea turtles. So what's neat is the babies hatch, swim out, they swim into uh, the seawater, and then find their way back to the river mouths and then swim upstream where they grow and finish out their life cycle. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got. I know there are, there are big turtles out here. We didn't go into that other area, but I did just see something move over here. So let's give it a shot. All right. We're turtling. You've heard of um, catfish noodling? We're turtling. I'm a turd herder. Let's see. Always a little nervous because you never know if there's a snapping turtle in here. But here's another little tidbit of info for my friends out there in turtle land. Um, most snapping turtles in the water are actually quite docile. It's when we pull them out of the water, they get all upset and aggro. All right. We got to find this hill or eye, people. I'm happy I haven't had to go underwater to grab a turtle. 
You just kind of squat on them. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is that a rock? That's not what I want it to be. Nah, that's nothing good. We can stand up here, kind of wander. All right, let's see if anybody's in this section. It's actually easier if I'm down like this to grab the turtles. And these guys are smart. They feel me coming. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys would do this. I'm sure there's a bunch of you guys out here, gals that would love to get dirty looking for turtles. Man, I think it's awesome. There's still another fly river. A male Badiger and a female Badiger. See, there's these divots in the shallow water. And those divots are where the turtles like to lay to get warm. So they don't have to come out and bask. They'll just make a shallow indentation or a, a hole in a shallow area where they can be hidden but have warm water and bask a little bit. Oh. 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 Huh. This is pretty deep in here. I don't feel anything. Oh, I got something. I got something. I got something. Oh, I think it's another male. Yeah, here's the other male, Badiger. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, there's the other boy. Very cool. Or is it the same one? I don't know. But uh, either way, there it is. Another male Badiger. Ah, did he get us wet? Got us a little bit wet. Oh. What's this? Oh, that's that PVC. God, this is so crazy. Really hope that tiny wound from my giving blood, that pinprick is healed. I'm sure there's all kinds of funky stuff in here. All right, I think I've exhausted this area. So we're gonna move it along back to the other side. So let's grab the other camera and do that. Look at these little water beetles. On. They're eating the turtle food. Oh, look. Turtle poop. Oh. It's a fly river. That's a fly river. Oh, that was a fly river for sure. Whew. Almost. Boy, when they feel you tap them, they really. Oh, it's a fish! <laughs> ah, what the hell was that? Ooh. Fish creep me out when I'm in the water. Oh, that's a turtle. That's a turtle. Um, did we already catch this turtle before? Gosh, this guy loves this area. All right, go back. The male badger. Holy smokes. Oh. 
Let's go around the uh, island and see if we can get something. Got something. I think it's a fly river. Oh, it is a fly river. Hold on, it's the other one, it's the smaller one. Oh, hold on, guys. All right. Gotcha. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. It's the other fly river. Okay. Whew. All right. Here's the smaller fly. Okay, looking good. That was a lot of work for this little dude. All right, you're off, go ahead. <sighs> oh, smokes, all right, so both fly rivers are good. Keep going, little guy. Oh my God. Okay. Found him. This is the turtle you can't find. I found him now three times. Take a breath. Put him in shallow. Hey, he sure is wandering, man. Ah, uh, uh, I got something. We got the female Baudiger, we got her. <laughs> you can see how big she is. Come here, you. Oh, you ain't going anywhere. Hold on, hold on. Here she is, big mama. Oh, come on, girl. And these girls get bigger than this. Massive. Hey there, honey. I know, just hang out for a little bit. Again, beautiful eyes. She's hissing, she's showing off. Look at how nice and fat she is. You can see why these animals are sought after, right? And the females get bigger. And unfortunately, they got the most meat, but these are the big gals that put forth all those babies, huh? Yeah, you're gonna make me babies next year or what? If we can reproduce these, that'll be a really nice uh, thing. And half the babies go back to the Turtle Survival Alliance. She's got claws, by the way, and they hurt. She's got some algae on there, but she's looking really good. Um, let's see if I can get her. I'm just gonna flip her for a minute. I just wanna see her back legs look good. Um, yeah, just an awesome turtle, man. All right, no uh, problems with the shell. Skin looks amazing. All right, honey, good girl. Go ahead, that's all. Sorry, didn't mean to bother you. You're gonna go right into me. All right, so we got her, and they're all moving around on me, you know? It's so funny. They're, uh, they can feel me coming, and so they just take off. Now, we gotta try and get this side neck turning out to not be that easy. I may have to get in that. And in which case, I think I've screwed things up in the in account, on account rather, that I, uh, I actually scared all the turtles and kind of stirred everything up in here. So I may have to get her in another video. I don't know. We'll give it a little bit more time here. But it just shows you how well they can hide, even large turtles like that. I must have passed over that animal a bunch of times while I'm here, but they're really good at hiding. Oh, that branch kind of went somewhere I didn't want it to go. Ouch. Ah, uh, oh, it's a fish. Oh, I'm sliding down. It's a fly. It's a fly river, guaranteed. It's definitely the fly river. I'm not even gonna pull it up. Oh, you can see my patience is wearing thin. I gotta find this turtle. Oh.
All right, I'm gonna have to give these guys a little bit to settle down. I'm gonna come back with my net because I've been in this water for about an hour and uh, I'm not having any luck finding that. Well, I found something, but it's a fly river turtle. Oh, sorry, guy. Oh, I keep grabbing him. Now, if I were looking for the fly river turtle, I'd never find it. But I'm looking for the Hillari. I thought I'd get lucky, guys. But no luck today, not for me. What a bummer. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna do one more pass out here. And then if I don't find it out here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a day. So there you go, I'll call it a day if I don't find it. Swamp angels are out, so they're gonna be attacking my head, which also makes this not too pleasant. They come out once the sun starts to go down a little bit. both of those guys are good all right my blood sugar is low so is the battery on this thing so I'll tell you what guys Whew, I'm gonna have to try this again another day but I will make sure I show you whether it be on the YouTube channel or on my Instagram who that little rascal was all right guys I hope you have a good day wherever you are the good news is is that I did wind out wind up rather Oh no, I smudged you guys. I'm really sorry about that. I did wind up making sure that the three Batagor are good, the Mountain Mod is good, and of course, the Fly River Turtles are doing a-okay. All right, everyone, have a great day wherever you are. Thank you so much for your support. It's because of uh, you guys, oh, that's a big hole, uh, I'm able to do this fun stuff. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.